right, so today we are actually trying to, we have a reclaim project going on right now. We are reclaiming, we have a fence in our backyard that our dog has, doesn't really hold our dog in. So, um, and we just don't really, we didn't like it when we moved in and we said, hey, we'll just tear this down a later date. Well, it's a nice, cool day, comfortable. So we are reclaiming uh, all of the bats and the, boards from this fence and we have a couple projects that we'll be doing uh, later on with this lumber um, but just trying to get it separated and ready to go and get this fence taken down So real quick, I wanted to give an update on our quail. This is one of our females right here. And you can tell that they're female by the speckledness of the breast feathers. I don't know if you'll be able to focus on that or not. I'll see if I can get it to focus. Easy girl, easy, easy. But anyways, that is, gosh, dang it. There we go. You can see the speckled breast feathers there and she oops, she's gonna try to fly off if I, I'm gonna set her back in there so that is a female and I'm gonna try to catch a male okay I'm not a hundred percent that this is one of our males but I believe just by the the breast feathers you can see it's more there's no speckledness to it there's no real um, let me get there we go you can see that one is not as speckled so that that I would think is a, a male. We're gonna we would say that was a male. See, and you can hear that is the call that they make. Um, and they just started doing that this week. So that is an update on the quail. Right now we we still have 28. We have 28. Uh, it looks to be we haven't vent checked them yet, but I believe we have about somewhere between 12 and 14 males, 12 to 13 males and about 15 to 13 females. So um, that is the update on our quail. They're doing well. And uh, you can hear them, they're, they're again, they're starting to do their, their calls or their crows, the males are. So uh, I would expect we'll probably start hopefully seeing eggs in the next, you know, two, three, four weeks. Maybe. gone we removed it today so we got we reclaimed about that big of a pile of stuff that we'll end up trying to use on some other projects that we've got for going on here at the place so um appreciate the kids help today they helped me out big time so got a lot done uh and then we started cutting on this big wood pile uh, which you saw earlier just trying to get um, trying to cut it up right now we're we're planning on adding a um, stove a wood stove uh, this winter uh, if finances allow that if our finances allow that but uh, that's something uh, we, we heat with propane right now and we we got a lot of wood uh, all through the property um, and so we've started you can see I'm making a making a wreck of this this pile trying to 
trying to get it cut up and split up and uh we're actually right now gonna try to get a couple uh get a couple loads cut up and then stacked up and um, try to sell those see if there's any kind of market for that just because we have so much wood i could cut just literally right here next to the house for probably two to three day or probably two to three weekends and uh be able to be able to supply enough wood to get us started uh this winter and then i've got trees down all over uh on other parts of the property we have been asked this question actually in our comments uh what the sex of our new baby is what gender so this is the reveal we've the whole gender reveal thing's been done quite a bit on all sorts of media <laughs> social media platforms so we're just going to come right out and tell you so for the first time in over what a decade it's a girl it's a girl so we're super excited we're really happy um if you follow us on instagram i know this is probably going to be a little late but we'll hopefully get this video out today or tomorrow um so anyways thanks for coming along with us we'll see you next time we're out I don't know how this is gonna work or not. Oh, there we are. Hi. I'm sorry. It's probably blowing off of me, I'm dusty.